This is a person who has been muted in RuneScape and who is suing in this handwritten complaint. Well, the judge has issued a an order here or a memorandum uh, seemingly on their own just five days later. This is a community supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. So this is Amro Elenseri against Yagex Inc. Shanghai Hong Tu Network Technology, Shanghai Fukong Interactive Entertainment, the proprietors of the online multi, massive multiplayer online role playing game RuneScape. And this is a complaint for discrimination, business, public space, free speech, expression, culture, due process, adverse action, notification, breach of contract. Plaintiff resides in Pennsylvania and writes the facts out in hand. Company operates public game, open to public, free plus membership, rules to game, break rules equals ban. Plaintiff was muted without being told or notified. Plaintiff is a streamer plus 2000 hours plus invested. Jagex notes, C mod notes, no reason. Denied appeal, no reason. Viewers on Steam witnessed. Violation of due process, discrimination, free speech, human rights. Relief sought is whatever jury see fits and remove, remove the mute on plaintiff's account. So this is a person who has been muted in RuneScape and who is suing in this handwritten complaint in where? Uh, the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. Hey, that's my, that's my district. Yes. Well, the judge has issued a, an order here or a memorandum uh, seemingly on their own just five days later. And this is Judge Kearney from the Eastern District of Pennsylvania writes, Amro Alan Sari sues a video gaming company located in the UK for allegedly muting him from playing his game. He pro se, or without an attorney, alleges the video game company deprived him of due process, free speech, and human rights. He filed a complaint using the court's preprinted form, asserting claims against four defendants, but only alleges conduct by Jagex. He also moves for leave to proceed in form of pauperous or uh, without having to pay fees and costs. We grant Mr. Elansari leave to proceed in form of pauperous, which, but we dismiss his complaint under the law. He asserts both federal question and diversity subject matter jurisdiction. He only alleges constitutional claims. He cannot state a constitutional claim against a private gaming company as he does not assert state law claims. We dismiss the case without prejudice for him to allege a potential state law claim against parties who may have diverse citizenship. So he alleges that defendant Yagex Jagex operates public games open to the public, free plus membership. Although his allegations are far from clear, he alleges they banned a player for violating the rules of the game. He alleges Yagex Jagex muted him without explaining why and then denied him an appeal without reasons. He sues them for violating his rights to due process, free speech, and human rights. Although Mr. Elansari also named Shanghai Hong Tu Network Technology Co Company and Shanghai Fukong and Interactive Entertainment, those were separate mm. uh, defendants apparently, he makes no substantive allegation concerning them. We granted him leave to proceed in for pauperous as he is incapable of paying the fees and we must dismiss the complaint if he fails to state a claim. Rule 8 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure requires a complaint to contain a short and plain statement of the claim showing that the pleader is entitled to relief. We may on our own dismiss a complaint not complying with Rule 8 if the complaint is so confused, ambiguous, vague, or otherwise unintelligible that its true substance, if any, is well disguised. Rule 8 requires that pleadings provide enough information to put a defendant on sufficient notice to prepare their defense and also ensure that the court is sufficiently informed to determine the issues. 
To the extent that Mr. El Ansari seeks to assert federal constitutional claims against the defendants based upon his being muted from the game, his claims are implausible. He makes no substantive allegations about how Shanghai Hongtu Network Technology Company Limited or Shanghai Fukan or Interactive Entertainment Company Limited muted him from his game. While he alleges JAG-X, an entity located in the UK, muted him and denied his appeal, these allegations cannot state a plausible constitutional claim. The First Amendment and its constitutional free speech guarantees restrict government actors, not private entities, Go see our video on the Trump Twitter block appeal where Trump lost his appeal because his Twitter account has been made a public forum by his own actions, not anything that Twitter or anybody else did. Defendants who are not alleged to be state actors are not subject to constitutional free speech guarantees. The Fifth Amendment's due process clause applies to and restricts only the federal government and not private persons. And of course, the Fourteenth Amendment applies that to the states as well. Mr. Ellen Sari also fails to allege these private entities acted in concert with a state actor, which would also work. He does not allege a state law claim, but he might be able to in a proper forum. So we dismiss his complaint for failure to state plausible claims, as it appears an amendment to assert federal claims is futile. The dismissal is with prejudice as to a federal question, but without prejudice to possibly timely pursue state law claims in a court exercising personal jurisdiction over a United Kingdom defendant. And that's it. So if he can allege Pennsylvania state law claims against a United Kingdom defendant, great. But they are not going to let him into the Eastern District of Pennsylvania on federal questions. Remember, you don't do federal claims in state court unless you also have some other reason for federal jurisdiction. So you would not normally go to federal court when all you have are state claims. You might allege a federal claim and then include a bunch of state claims. And sometimes you might do that when really you just want to get the federal court to adjudicate the state claims because that might be easier for you. Federal court is actually kind of cool. I really like practicing in federal court. So Mr. Alansari here needs to assert some state law claims, which he's probably not going to be able to do because he has an agreement with Jagex. If he has a, a RuneScape account, then he definitely has agreed to some kind of terms of service. And those terms of service probably say that they can do whatever they want in so many words. And that by muting him and not allowing an appeal and by not, or by not reasoning through their appeal for him, that they have not violated any sort of uh, breach. They have not violated any sort of contract or breached any sort of contract or terms of service or anything. So that's that. Mm. What do you think of the RuneScape lawsuit that was open and shut in six days? Because remember, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th is six days. So it was open and shut mm. in six, in less than a week. Yeah. So that's pretty remarkable. What do you think of that? I, I think it's also important for any viewers that if you are going to submit your own pro se lawsuit, um, perhaps use full sentences. And all the shocking things. Yeah. 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 Um, if it was you... a little confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so full sentences are good. Throw some facts in there. Yeah. You know that might be nice. Maybe cite yeah. some laws that if you're if it's a civil lawsuit against a non corp or a non government entity, then maybe don't just rely on the Constitution because you're going to get in trouble there. So if you don't know the federal rules of civil procedure and the rule eight pleading standard and the rule 12 motion to dismiss standard, maybe you should consult your attorney or hire an attorney to help you write those things. If you come to your attorney or you call a prospective attorney and you say, I don't want to hire an attorney. I hate attorneys. I don't want to pay you any money, but I really need your genuine, sincere help. They're not going to be inclined to help you. 
if you call them and say, hey, I respect that you do great work and I want to hire a master craftsman for my case and I'm willing to pay what a master craftsman deserves to be paid, now your attorney is really ready to go on your case. <laughs> so just a just a hint for Mr. Amarwell and sorry, if, uh, if something it's a he, would like to hire an attorney, and I'm not throwing my hat in the ring here or anything, mm. but if he would like to hire an attorney, he should approach them with the uh, you know basic respect. I don't mean that every attorney deserves your respect. I'm definitely sure there are scumbags out there. But on a basic level, we should all respect each other till we know otherwise. And so if he hires an attorney, it should be with all of that respect in place. Uh, don't go calling around for a free attorney to you know help you allege your very vague and confusing case against RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> Attorneys are not going to be inclined. We really like to be able to read quickly. I have this issue. I have a copyright issue, and here's the basic facts of it in one paragraph. Do you think you can help me? Is a lot better. You need to do the elevator speech when you're hiring an attorney, not here's an hour hours worth of reading that I'm not paying you for. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? All right, so what do we have left here? Got a favorite new guy. Our favorite new guy. So Amro Elansari has filed a response or I don't know is it filed or did he just take a picture of it he took a picture of it and shared it publicly so he took a picture of it and shared it publicly and I'm guessing it's going on the docket at some point so I guess I'm assuming a little bit that this is going to be filed if not has been filed but his response his response is this July 20th 2019 in case number 19-3006 to the court. This is the court that dismissed his case saying that he hadn't stated a claim. Um, remember, he asks the court for permission to proceed in court without paying legal fees. When you do that, the court automatically has the right, it, it sort of always has this right, but the court definitely has an explicit right spelled out in law, uh, the same law that creates the right to, or the discretion to grant a plaintiff the right to proceed without paying for the case. The discretion to dismiss the case if the case is frivolous or there's a few other conditions in here, mostly like frivolous, vexatious, fails to state a claim, that sort of thing. So the case was dismissed and this is his response. My apologies for the misunderstanding. I thought the mute of a player, for no reason, unequal to others, self-evidently presented a prima facie case of discrimination slash unequal treatment in violation of the 14th Amendment, which applies to businesses as well. See Heart of Atlanta Motel. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Now, this is Equal Protection Law 101. Did he just tell the judge this is, this is Law 101? Yes. But I don't expect you to be an expert or specialized in this case. Ooh. Because it is rare. Nonetheless, since the case is dismissed with prejudice, I have no choice but to appeal. I hope, however, that I can hold a little bit more credibility in this court in the future. Thank you. All the best. Amro Elansari. So, yeah, oof is right. Yikes. My reaction, yikes. Yikes. Uh, that, that sounds a little bit arrogant. Doesn't that sound a little bit arrogant a to you? A little bit. A little bit arrogant. Uh. Um, don't talk down to your judge. Even if you disagree, he's still your judge, or she is still your judge. Don't talk down to them. Yeah, I, I apologize in advance. They might talk down to you. That does happen from time to time. It's not something we like. It's not something that we were trying to eliminate that from the profession. But uh, there are still some ornery judges out there from from olden times, you know, when, when that was much more acceptable. It's much less acceptable now. And if you, as a young attorney or new attorney or even an old attorney, go into an, a, a, progress, a, a court system that has progressed past this, you will not, it will not be tolerated. To talk down back you know just the judge can't talk down to the attorneys either the respect is supposed to flow freely in all directions 
Um, if there's something to be upset about, sure, you can be passionate, but you must be reflect, uh, respectfully passionate. So that's a, a, a very uh, arrogant letter, and let's go over, I guess, parts of it here. Uh, first off, it's one page long, and it's, it's, uh, it's handwritten. Um, we did find other things filed by Amro Elansari, and assuming that it's the same person, seems to be the same person, then uh, they, there are things that were filed that were typed, so we're not sure why this is not typed. So, first, he says this is self-evident. Uh, not really. Um, the legal proofs are might maybe a little bit different than Amro expects them to be. Speaking in conclusions is not a legal proof. First, him saying that this is self-evident is, is really kind of dumb. Because saying, I was muted for no reason, doesn't really tell us why you, have a, why you think you have a legal claim. It's not self-evident. Um, nor does it present a prima facie case of anything. You would want to tell your judge what you think it presents a prima facie case of. So, prima facie case of breach of contract, prima facie case of what? Discrimination slash unequal treatment isn't, isn't a, a law. Uh, in violation of the 14th Amendment uh, is a law, but that's not a law that applies to RuneScape. The 14th Amendment applies equal protection to the states and due process to the states. And that means state governments can't violate your, your due process and equal protection rights. And that's what, that's what Heart of Atlanta Motel stood for. It was an equal protection case saying that a business couldn't violate a protected class. Heart of Atlanta Motel was about race. This mute of a player is not about race. So no, Heart of Atlanta Motel isn't the case. And... Amro Elansari would have to be alleging that this was that this muting was done by RuneScape and it was based on race. Okay, so just... RuneScape muted him. Well, he didn't, but he hasn't alleged that RuneScape has muted him based on race. So then he says, this is Equal Protection Law 101. That's just arrogant. I don't expect you to be an expert. Uh, or specialized in this area. I mean, on, on some level, that's actually reasonable. You don't expect your judge to be an expert, but you don't say that. You don't say, well, I don't expect you to be an expert, judge. But, um, yeah, the sentiment is correct. I think the wording is arrogant. The sentiment is correct. If, it, if, if this is just a person who doesn't understand that they're being offensive to this, to the, you know, overall here, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I think the sentiment is actually fair. The judge isn't necessarily an expert in every law, and that's why the judge is an expert in evaluating the law and, and applying those evaluations and interpreting the law and writing the legal proofs. That's the expertise. Nevertheless, the case is dismissed with pre prejudice. I have no choice but to appeal. And guys, this is just the beginning, as I'm staring at at least seven more documents from Amro and Sorry here. So we're not done. So join me <laughs> as we continue down this rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, L A B B, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -uh. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three. I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. Bitch, I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's 
Off the rapping, keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell a Mosialis flawless, broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna cause the yams enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest, do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in, did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LA BB, who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah.